really, really good. Everything so far? Let's take a peek. We've got this one to work on, then that one's done, that one's done, that one's done, that one's done. Oh, overall, really good progress, really cool paintings, really excited for the next series. It's gonna be so freaking cool. It is in fact a little bit chaotic in the art studio right now. <laughs> There's a, a lot of moving parts to get everything done on time, but we're gonna get it. And you're gonna be along for the entire journey. So let's get back to work, huh? <laughs> I've got another art haul. So I shopped at Black Diamond Pigments. This is again for resin art. These are resin specific pigments. So I got a tealy green. It's called Deep Forest Green because one of the ones coming up is going to use that color. I got two more white ones that have an undertone of different colors again used for upcoming ones, so I'll kind of keep those a secret. I got this one's Midnight Diamond Blue. It's kind of a blue black and a matte black and Imperial Black Onyx, which has little flecks in it because I'm going to be doing a Galaxy one upcoming, which I'm so excited for. It's going to be a mixture of acrylic and these resin pigments. It's gonna look so cool. I'm really excited. And then um, I have some more red ones, which I might actually try using one of these on the Rose series right now. Maybe I got Blood Red and Savage, and one is a, definitely a little bit more red. One's a little bit more pink. Shout out to Black Diamond. I'm really excited to use their products. They had a bunch of options and I have a feeling that it's gonna be really high quality. So I'm really excited to use those. In other news, I finished this horse one, uh, which is really, 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 really exciting. That one, I'm really proud of that one for many reasons. One was the horse itself looks really good. Um, the grass, which Foliage isn't my forte, but I'm working on it. And I told myself that it was gonna take however long it was gonna take, just do it right. And I did do it right, and I think it looks really good. With these ones, these were, this was supposed to be the last layer. However, you can see, um, there's some of them that I really like, but the resin did kind of move. Um, I'm guessing because it's uneven, so they were pulled certain directions, which is fine. That's half of fluid art. That's half of the beauty is just letting it happen and seeing, seeing what happens. But there's a few areas that I want to touch up on top of the fact that there are a few bubbles and there are a few little marks that were left, unfortunately. And I'm not okay with putting artwork out there that's not as close to perfect as I can get it. So I will sand these layers down again and I will do hopefully one last layer on them.
I had painted the entire horse, the guy's face, <laughs> when I realized, in a nutshell, I kind of lost connection with this. Nothing against the image or the painting itself. It probably would have turned out well. In myself, I'm working on being more intuitive and more into creating what I want when I want, <laughs> which is difficult for me, um, you know, versus a lot of people that maybe are more intuitive artists might need a little bit more of that discipline in their life, but I'm not that. I am more disciplined, I am more put your head down, work harder kind of person. So I think I need to work a little bit more on being more intuitive with it. I just feel like I've hit a point where I'm like really satisfied with the jumpers that I've created and I'm ready to move on. And so shout out to MDB, Madeline DB Photography for giving me the reference. She's amazing. Well, this has been a very anticlimactic end to this collection. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Didn't go as I expected, but I'm very happy with everything that I have. And that's the most important thing. This is the first collection I've ever done. So I'm learning, but I figured I would pop on here so that we could look at starting a new collection together and like what that looks like. First and foremost, what I do is gather a bunch of ideas. I start with this big, big body of screenshotted images and then I kind of start narrowing down. I like to have, you know, probably at least three images for each painting. I want one to be of a cow. I'll have maybe three or four different images of what I want as the cow one. And as time goes by and I sit and think about it more, I'll kind of narrow it down to one or two. From there, I contact the photographer and ask for their permission and if I need to pay any licensing fees, if they need any compensation, um, and I get their permission to work with their photo. And from there, I jump into Procreate where I then any images that kind of need altering, doctoring, anything like that, um, I will go in and kind of fix it there. So perfect example is this one. Um, I do have the permission from the photographer to use this, but what it originally looked like was that. It had cut off there. So I doctored the image. Um, flipped it so that it's full and then I also drew in the back side of the horse and then I will open the horse's eye when I paint. While I'm in between collections, I've set a challenge for myself to do little small studies every single day. Doesn't matter how many, it could be one, it could be three, but because my, I'm finishing the resin, which only takes about an hour a day, and I'm still kind of setting up for the next collection, I figured I might as well just do little fun projects that maybe wouldn't necessarily make really good large paintings, but just as cute color studies or experimental studies, um, they would be perfect. And my main focus with them is to work on loose, expressive brush strokes. So very intentional, like one stroke and done sort of thing. It's gonna end up being probably a little bit more, but that's ideally the goal is to teach myself um, to be more efficient and more precise with color and where I'm putting my brushes down and then just kind of let it be a more organic looking painting. So I did some yesterday, I didn't film it, but I'll show you what they ended up looking like. They're super cute and they're inspired by a book that I just read. Um, these are poisonous flowers. It's belladonna, foxglove, and angel's trumpet. Very small, just meant to be fun little experiments that I can play with.
Uh, okay, I know I should have videotaped this and I apologize, but I was just in the zone. I didn't know how it was gonna go, so I didn't film it and that was my bad. But this one, which turned out really freaking awesome. Again, none of these are with sketches first. This is the most fun I have had with artwork and with my own business. And that is amazing. It's an amazing place to be with yourself and with your own business. It's been, it's been really exciting. So I won't bore you. Let's get back to it. These powders, they're awesome. The pigment of them is phenomenal. So I, no complaints there. Um, some of them are a little clunkier so that when you just have to make sure that you mix it really, really well or else it'll leave like little flecks in it. And I'm guessing that when you're working with a powder, that's kind of just what's expected. Good morning. So what have I been up to? Uh, not much because it was Thanksgiving and I just have been using this time to kind of hang out and focus a little bit more on family since I am done with the collection and planning the next one. So I'm just kind of slowing down for a little bit. I ended up painting this in acrylic. I'm really curious to see how painting can incorporate into just resin because some of the resin <laughs> of course with abstract art didn't work how I wanted it to didn't go where I wanted it to and that's just how it goes so I did learn a lot and I'm so thankful for that on that note that one I'm gonna rework okay let's get back into painting Hello. Well, that's a wrap on this vlog. Thank you so much for joining. Uh... <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Learned something. Um, this is the end of this collection for both resin and um, oil paintings. I've already got the next ones planned out and I'm so excited to share that journey with you. We'll start from the basics. You're going to see me work in Procreate and plan everything out all the way to the finished product, which will probably be spring of next year is how long it'll take me. But so if you're interested, make sure you subscribe so that you can see more videos uh, like this and stay up to date with everything. And then as far as oil paintings, the next series is gonna is called Art of the West. So it's gonna be more Western themed. There are gonna be maybe a few Englishy pieces, but they might not be a part of the collection. I might just do those for fun. Either way, Art of the West is coming up as well as some really cool resin art. Uh, so stay tuned and thank you again for joining. I can't wait to see you in the next one.